This is a short video about my DIY printer, a complete self-built printer which I built in the last few years. The first version of the Omega printer was really bad and I learned from my design mistakes which I made. And then in an iterative process I upgraded it several times until I was happy. And every time I made the upgrades it was really hard to install them because my printer was installed fixed in a furniture chamber. And that's the reason why I installed this sliding plate, which I can simply slide out and back into the furniture chamber. And this sliding plate really helped me in the upgrading process for the Omega Core, the last version of the printer, which is a Core XY printer. So now I had the ability to slide out the printer out of the chamber, install some new components and then slide it back in. Here I am engraving the new logo onto the casing of the Omega Core with my complete self-built laser engraving machine. And I have to say I really like the printer and how it looks now. The casing is really nice, it's robust, it's clean. There are three buttons to control the printer and an LCD display and you can see here the logo and of course the sliding mechanism. Here you can see the Core XY kinematic system with an aluminum milled X-Beam. And I also tested that X-Beam in Siemens NX with a finite element analysis and so far it holds up the forces really well, hold up against the forces really well and it's very robust. That's also not the maximum speed which I can reach but I sometimes like to uh, print slower so it's not that noisy. And here I just sandblasted and spray painted the frame of the printer and I painted it in white because I think it's a very clean and satisfying color and you can mix it with any light uh, source and it will look good. And then I was in a phase of trying to reach um, higher accelerations and higher speeds and made some tests with the printer. And so far I was really satisfied with the process with the results but I think there is still something um, more to make and there are always more improvements which are possible to do and the next update will be that I will install a 24 volt system now I'm on 12 volt which is really not optimal but um, yeah I like to do it step by step and that way I have still time in my free time for other stuff also, the printer isn't running on Clipper yet, but this is still uh, something I want to do. And then I completely redesigned the print head, and now everything is cleaner, it's uh, better built, more robust. And for example, the wheel touch is not outside of the print head, but it's installed inside of it, it's integrated into the system. So far, so good. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you liked it and maybe we we'll see us next time.